Hey, hi everyone, this is Phil from statisticsmentor.com. In this video, I'm going to be talking about including dummy variables in a regression. Now, recall that the rule that if you have a variable with k categories, you set up k minus 1 dummies and put that into your model with an intercept. Failure to do this results in what they call a dummy variable trap. So if you try to put in k dummies, plus an intercept, you're going to fall into what we call a dummy variable trap and all it, that means is that you've got a case of perfect multicollinearity, meaning that you've got a uh, perfect linear relationship among your dummies, which is certainly true because if you know k minus 1 of the values, you can definitely determine the k value. Let's uh, look at it in context of this question. I have my DV, it's a standard regression, my DV is continuous, it's called levels, and my, I've got three dummies, first, second, and third, depending on which treatment they take, first type of treatment, second type of treatment, or third type of treatment. So here I have three, dumb, three categories. Let's see what happens if I try to include an intercept in all three dummies in there. We know we shouldn't do this because it results in the dummy available trap. So I take the DV into that box. I put in first, second, and third dummies. I all the dummies into the independent box. Let's press OK. Right, what we find is that SPSS does generate output. But look at what it's happened. It's got a constant, which is the intercept. Treatment 1, treatment 3, where's treatment 2 gone? It's excluded it because if it didn't exclude one of the treatments you'll have the dummy variable trap which means that you wouldn't get any output at all um, so since you haven't selected one to omit uh, you haven't selected the reference category it selected one for you and it selected treatment two now let's see what happens if we include all three treatments but exclude the intercept so we re analyze regression linear Okay, first, second, third. To exclude the constant, the intercept, we'll go options. And then here in this box, uncheck include constant in the equation. And OK. Right, what we see is now it, it's included all three in. So going back to the rule, in this case, k is 3. If we have k categories, we include all k but exclude the intercept as we have done here, it works, or we ex include the intercept but only use k minus 1, so we drop 1, leaving 1 out as the baseline or otherwise known as the reference category. Let's compare which one you do doesn't actually matter in terms of coefficient interpretation because they should be consistent, the results should be consistent. So in this case, treatment 1, 2, 3 all in there is saying that treatment 1, the predicted value of the DV is 252, for treatment 2 predicted value is 300, and for 3 it's about 305. How does that, how does that uh, link up, match up with um, the other case where we've got K minus 1 dummies? Right. Now here, here are the numbers when we have k minus 1 dummies. Now, when we have dummies, it, the coefficients interpret, represent the differences between this group and the one that is the reference category. Now, the reference category here is 2 because it's been omitted, and a constant is actually takes the value of the reference category. So, the predicted value for treatment 2 is 300.5. If we go back to here, for the when we include all intercepts, 300.4. If we look at the treatment 1 here, this is saying that compared to treatment 2, treatment 1 level, the DV value, is lower by 40, about 48. So in other words, 300 subtract 48. So we're looking at a figure of about 252 for treatment 1. Okay, treatment 1, 252, there you go. Going back up to this table, right, treatment 3, this is saying that 
compared to treatment two, treatment three has higher DV, predicted higher DV by about five. So in other words, you expect treatment value to be 305, treatment three, 305. So let's see, indeed 305. So there you go, so they match up. So again, the rule is, to summarize, if you have K categories, K dummies, set up K minus one dummies and include K minus one dummies along with an intercept or include all K dummies but exclude the intercept. Short and sweet.